go through here how to make sure if you've got a 110 pump that this 110 pump is getting fed 110 uh, from a 240 volt circuit. So this is for example if you have a plug and play spa and you uh, want to upgrade to 240 volts but the pump itself is still on 110 volts so we're going to show you which jumper wire you need to move to uh, to make sure that your pump is still getting fed 110 volts to operate properly. So what you want to locate is the jumper wire for the actual pump. So we're looking at the control board here and you see this is pump 1. This is right where the pump is located right here on uh, J8 um, on the specific uh, control pack. The NBP501X, part number 56746. Um, and beside J50 here, J, J8 is J50. And this pin, this jumper wire, as you see, goes all the way over to one of the pins that goes to J48, according to the wiring diagram, which is on bank number three. This bank three here feeds all the 240 volt components inside the, uh, inside the control pack here. So if you've got this jumper wire connected to anything on bank three, you're going to receive 240 volts on this pin. So this is stating that 240 volts is going to be fed to pump one, which is not what we want because this is still a 110 volt pump. So what we're going to want to do is move the jumper wire from J48 up to one of the pins here on bank number one. Bank number one is feeding the 120 volt side. So if we move this jumper wire all the way up to one of these pins, we're now going to be feeding 120 volts to the pump. All right, so we're going to show you how to do that. So, use your wiring diagram and you want to find your pump. Here's your pump here, and right beside it is J50. Okay, so we're going to locate J50. And you can notice it goes all the way over here to bank number three. We're going to unplug this. Make sure everything's off before you do any of this. And we're going to put it all the way up here. Get it out of here. On one of these pins, any one of them, as long as it's within bank number one here. Push it in. Make sure it makes a tight connection. And you're good. Now you're going to be feeding 120 volts to pump one here, as that's on bank number one.